Welcome into the Quest for Nine report. I'm Josh Eastern. Unfortunately for Indiana, the Quest for Nine will continue. The Maryland Terrapins take down the Indiana Hoosiers this evening in the national semifinal of the College Cup here in Santa Barbara. It was a tough night for Indiana in the first half. Maryland got their first goal in the 37th minute. Then in the second half, Donovan Pines provided the ultimate blow to Indiana. They had a bunch of chances in that second half, but for Indiana, they just were not finding the back of the net. There were moments in the first half, but I mean, we truly feel that every single game that if we play our best, we, we can get the job done and get the win. And, and like we've been talking about, it didn't quite go our way, but, but there were moments we could have been better. But I, th I think I speak for myself and everyone else on the field that we, we gave it our all. Um, we, there's not a second we had the jersey on where we weren't giving it everything we could. So uh, there's no regrets, but today just wasn't our day. Yeah, I mean, um, we created a lot of good chances. And like I, I said earlier, the ball just didn't bounce away a couple times. Um, we weren't that sharp on, on the chances we did create. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, their, their defense was really good. Uh, they made a lot of quick uh, clearances and a, and a lot of clean uh, interceptions just at that, that pivotal moment. And, you know, credit to them, they played, they played a complete 90 and, and they got the job done. It's tough to sum up a season so quickly because it ends so suddenly, but for Indiana, they'll have to move on, and also they will be now without all of their seniors who've left such a mark on this program. Todd Yeagley talked after the match about what the seniors meant to this program. It's hard. Um, it, it's, we can't really do that at this point. Um, certainly the, our, our players can't, and there's no way. I mean, I've been in their shoes um, losing the last game when I was a senior and you're in the final, um, th there's nothing that a parent, a coach, anyone can say. You're, um, you just need time to let it, let it, let the emotions calm and then realize what you've done. All I told them is that I was very proud. Um, they left everything on the field and it's going to be a group that we'll talk about for 15, 20, 30 years. And that's, that's pretty powerful and that they'll realize that as they get a bit older. We now welcome in Eddie Cotton for our analyst corner. Eddie, obviously a tough night for Indiana. How do you sum this one up? Well, they came out in the first half and they weren't the same team that we've seen all season long. They came out and it was very similar to Notre Dame and they're playing long balls. They weren't creating the same opportunities they usually do. And they obviously gave up that goal in the first half and then it was just a fight to get back into this one. And in the second half, they took control. They were assertive. They put Justin Rennix out wide, they tried different things, they, they tried everything, and they just could not convert on very gold opportunities in almost seemed like. They had so many chances, and they just couldn't find the back of the net, and it, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. I know it can end so suddenly this season, but I guess how do you look back on this season? I mean, the same way that, that Todd looks back on it, you look back at a team that arguably could have been considered the best team in the nation. Uh, they were ranked number two coming into the tournament. They did the first two goals in which they kept in mind, which is win the Big Ten, go undefeated in the Big Ten. They won the Big Ten tournament. They just find themselves in what, quite honestly, is a crapshoot. It's the NCAA tournament, and they played a team that played them three times this season. And that's so hard to beat a team three times. Maryland had them red. They knew how to handle Andrew Gutman. They knew what to do with Donovan Pines. It's just a tough draw and a tough opportunity, but this was an incredible season that will be remembered for a while. Well, and that is going to do it for the 2018 season. That will also do it for our coverage here at the Hoosier Network this season, and for us too, I guess, I guess it's over forever. Uh, so that is going to do it for Eddie. I'm Josh. Thank you for following forever, I guess, and keep following Indiana Men's Soccer on the Hoosier Network.